With the discovery of Trushal to take a look at the original text, we wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? Tiafredi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you had discovered, perhaps. Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. We were even ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Vale, pues aquí tenemos una fuerte eh, decisión que tomar. Otra de las cosas de que ya estamos en el segundo episodio. La verdad es que se me pasó súper rápido ahí el primer capítulo. La primera hora está pues envolvente eh, este título. A pesar de que pues no es tan conocido y pues demás, eh, me, me ha adentrado a él. Entonces aquí por lo que veo estamos en la época de la Inquisición, probablemente el Renacimiento, porque aquí tenemos a ciertos historiadores y a la Inquisición tras ellos. Eh, aquí hay arrestarlos, proponerles hablar con el embajador de la Alianza del Puente, dejar que se marchen. A ver, vamos a ponerle este segundo. I could have a word with the good Dr. Sahin, the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the Ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Pues vale, no estamos haciendo más larga la misión. Eh, más que nada porque pues no estoy a favor de la Inquisición, eh, por ello les estoy ayudando, que si no pues igual y a la hoguera los hecho, pero como dije no estoy con la Inquisición. De hecho, desapruebo lo que la Inquisición significa y propone. Y hizo. E hizo, claro. A ver, vamos a ver. Capitán, investiga. Negocia con el comerciante. Bien, ahí hay algo. I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. 
Would you be in need of my help in any way? What will be your official title on Tier 3D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor, nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. So, you still haven't found your cousin? As you well know, we cannot leave without him. Have no fear. I will bring him back in time to make our scheduled departure. Is everything ready? I'm still without... This Jones... Does In tradition, we are... Might I have a word? As you wish. Be back soon, Captain. Ok, vamos a ver si... Ah, aquí está, ya se nos actualizó. Es que para encontrar el grumete... Bueno, es todo derecho. De hecho es donde adquirimos la... Este atuendo. Ay, joder, creo que me fui por otra parte. Someone told me that you're a friend of... That's right, yeah. Yes. Happy to hear you. When did you last... Two did anything... Maybe a tap. Why would that... Boy. Es que como luego hablan mucho, prefiero mejor adelantarlo un poco. Or does que he he nos marcan la ubicación. Does he know? No. Do you think he could... I'm... I don't know when... No. And you don't believe... I like that. The itch for... Here. Yes, I call back. Que el alcohol es su enemigo. What do you think about Captain Bass? He's a damn good navigator. And an he knows his craft well, in spite of being so... How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. Oh, if he keeps it up, he'll be an... Un Alejandro Magno I need to be pirata. going. Farewell. ¿Qué es esto? Recoger. Diario del contrabandista. Tengo dos clientes nuevos. Quisiera ir... Bueno, etcétera, etcétera. Sailor, I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds, he didn't go missing, he was taken. Were you a witness to the other? Yes, I the other day. And then when we held those... Why didn't you inter... <sighs> Did you report... The Unfortunately, the captain. Did Jonas seem... Do you know... Why would anyone? Oh, it's just that I did anyone else? There was still a. I seen every kind of fellow in now and again. Creo que vamos a ir a la taberna. What do you think about Captain? He's a just man who knows his not. It's a pity that. Vale, pues todos hablan bien del tío del capitán con el que nos vamos. Creo que sabía lección de escoger. Vamos acá. Ah, miren, aquí hay algo marcador. Según yo no he puesto ese marcador, entonces está medio raro. Aquí que es, avisa al embajador de la alianza del puente de que vas a partir, convence al embajador de la alianza de que te ayude. Ah, vale, vale, es con los tíos de acá. Entonces ahorita también paso por allá, eh, sirve que me doy la subida. Me doy un subidón. Y a ver si paso con el mercader, que necesito vender un par de cosas.
completar misiones en Gridfall, las misiones se suelen poder completar de varias formas diferentes. De Sardé dispone de numerosos recursos, la astucia, la persuasión, la intuición, la corrupción y la fabricación de objetos en el taller son algunos de los medios posibles para cumplir tus objetivos. Para mejorar en dichos ámbitos invierte puntos en el árbol de talentos correspondiente o lleva equipo que otorgue bonificaciones. Las amenazas y el combate también son opciones válidas cuando los adversarios no se muestran receptivos a tus talentos. Ja, vale. Esto se va a poner duro. ¿Qué es eso? Monedas de oro 7. Vale, nos estamos chingando el oro de alguien. Vamos a ver qué encontramos aquí abajo. Más oro. Era la propina de alguien. Y vaya que le dejan bastante. ¿eh? Vale, esta es la oficina privada. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? I'm looking for a nought, a young cabin boy who's been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping in my establishment? You surely jest. Well, at least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. Well, Where might it? Anything? I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I There mean, was what help. I'm sorry. Head down to him. I, um, I hope you. A good offer. Let me take a look. If you can fit. Ah, oh, vale. Here you are, are to cover your expenses. Excellent. Honest books makes for honest friendships. <laughs> your cousin is either a very bad joker or a right good fool. He went and insulted a band of ruffians from the lower boroughs. Dangerous fellows. They've a storehouse they operate out of a few streets from here. What kind of business do they run? Several, actually, and they're all illegal and profitable. But you didn't hear that from me. In any case, if you were set on recovering your cousin, I would hurry if I were you. They're not the tender salts. Thank you for the information. Off with ya. Get him out of whatever mess he's got himself into. Seemed like a courageous fellow. Who could down his pint? Anything else? With all these sailors coming... Right, I treasure... <laughs> ah, but you... Has the Malak... <laughs> people stop. And then people was... I also... Ah, yeah, but that's not... How is business? It's the Malak... The Epid... Now that we... I need to be off. Goodbye. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No. Have no fear about that. It's for a different reason that I am here. I'm looking for a nought that disappeared two days ago, after visiting this establishment. A young cabin boy. Two members of his crew accompanied him. Yes, that does ring a bell. I've played with the three of them. Tell me what happened that evening. A rich merchant came in, with a band of strong arms. The kind of men you can round up for a few coins, if you catch my drift. They exchanged words with the cabin boy. The kid was defensive, not sitting pretty. And then they finally left. And after that? It just so happens that I did go out for a breather. I needed some fresh air. And I think I might well have seen those same men grab him. But that was none of my business. 
I wouldn't have thought that they were kidnapping him, if that's what it was. They weren't particularly rough with him. What can you tell me about the boy? He's seen... And he must... Who was the rich merchant? No, it was... Where can I find He has a... Thank you. This man is completely owned by his love for the game. Vale, pues ya tengo la información que requiero. Vamos a ver ahora afuera hacia dónde me dirige todo esto. Pues voy acá, acá y después acá para bajar hasta acá. ¿Qué les parece mi ruta? Oh, puedo saltar. Hijo de la perra. No seas cabrón. ¿Qué puedo? No puedo salir. Pero sí puedo correr. Ay, eso es todo muy perro. Sí, sí se checaron todo eso. Uy, estuvo. Estuve a punto de, de no salir. Lo voy a tener que volver a intentar porque. Pues ahí como que puedo atacar a. A uno. tan ruda, eh. Uy, eso estuvo bien. Yo que show, ¿dónde estoy? Day, good sir. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refused to one of the orders agreed upon with the guard. <laughs> There's been a misunderstanding, sir. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, sir. I'm just an agent. And I'm only obeying orders. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders? Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You're demanding a second payment but refuse to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? I don't think you understand who you're dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lord de Sade, nephew of the Prince d'Orsay and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. 
During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion, theft. You know as well as I that the congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That is a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, sir, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant at the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. This is preposterous. Your master is a thief. I have no patience for bandits and robbers. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take it. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. Now to the devil with ya. Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. If I'd have known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this. Vale, pues la diplomacia fracasó, tendremos que ir acá arriba, eh, no sé si puedo encontrar un punto de talento, vamos a checar. Might I help you, sir? I would like to have a word with Sir Fontaine. He is absent, but the lady of the house could certainly receive you. Enter, please. ¿Qué demonios? <risa> no me jodas, tía. Might I help you, sir? I need to be going. Va a hablar con la pared. Oh, I know you. I've seen you at court. You are Lord de Sade. And to what do I owe the honor of your visit, Excellency? I would like to have a word with your husband. He is not here. But perhaps I could be of help. It concerns a delicate matter. We're looking for a missing cabin boy. According to witnesses, he had an argument with your husband before being taken. I see. I am afraid that you have been misled. You seem to have come to the wrong conclusion. The cabin boy you speak of was not taken. He has simply returned home. Excuse me, but I'm not sure I understand. Don't you see, Your Excellency? We got our son back. I am very surprised. Several witnesses confirmed that your son had a fight with your husband and that his men escorted him from the tavern using force. If he had joined your husband willingly... Witnesses? In a tavern? And you choose to believe these drunkards over a respectable family? These witnesses are all in agreement, and it's their testimonies that have led me to your doorstep. My son was probably shocked to have found us. My husband and the other men might have simply had to carry him. A gesture that your drunkards must have misunderstood. How did you find your son's trail? We have never stopped looking for him. We learned that then we learned no much blah, 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 blah. I cannot say until the Nords is packed. It sounds like some fear-inducing story. The Norts wouldn't be the first to recruit through dubious means. Bueno, ya tenemos la información. Ahora vámonos para acá. Creo que por acá había un mercader. Ah, aquí abajo. Y acá, mesa de trabajo. Your Excellency, Lord de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations! Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. 
But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tierfredi. My cousin Constantine is about to take up office as governor of New Serene, and I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Could you give me your own? I but you. It is. Would you be the really Chris? You but our and of course today each day. The bridge. It is, it is the vegetation. We discuss some a savage. But you shall discuss. And what of you? If the, but have you from direct? I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme. And it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are... I would volunteer and consent to take them under my protection. But one good... You would like me to first take care of your charlatan? You will certainly prove to be an <laughs> vale. I need to be going. Goodbye. Pues tenemos ir que tenemos que ir por el charlatán. Encuentro el charlatán. Ah, pero vamos primero acá con el mercader. Más que nada para ver qué tiene, vender algunas cosas, ver un poquito más del inventario, porque ya he estado recolectando muchas. No sé cuál es su capacidad. ¿Qué dice? No puedes vender este objeto. Ah, ok. Vale, tengo que cambiarle primero acá las cosas.
Ahora sí. Welcome. It's such a pleasure. Have you seen an Ah, creo que tengo 200 de equipaje, creo. Ah, a ver, vamos a ver qué más. Aquí está, vamos a vender esto. Ay, es que es un poquito acá. Ahí está. Vale, ya lo tengo. Pues sí, tengo 200 de capacidad, tengo 40 ahorita ocupado, 177 monedas de oro. Eh, vamos a ver si puedo comprar algo pues, que me mejore considerablemente. Armas. Ah, oh, miren esto. Ah, pero no puedo. Mm, esta creo que sí, ¿eh? Sable viejo de Altfak. Aturdir. Genera furia. Coste de ataque furioso. Pues igual y la compro, ¿eh? Ah, pero precio 125. Oh, sí, le cuesta demasiado. Dice ayuda mágica, curación. Carisma más uno. Pues igual y compro esta de ¿eh? capa de marinero. Porque no tengo nada. Y carisma más uno. Ahí está. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking, If this remedy can heal one from the malacol, alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the malacol isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energize life rejoice a file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again does it really heal everything your potion everything absolutely everything except the malachor of course that being said it is known that those in top health resist the malachor best of all 
Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even... Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I swear you'd hear that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. Hmm, cold carret. Ah, ya se murió. Carta del tabernero feliz. Pues como verán ahorita ya resistí un poco más, ¿eh? pero no he chingado una, una poción. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk. This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief. Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. 
Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. La artesanía te permite mejorar armas y armaduras, la ciencia te permite crear pociones y trampas. Necesitas conocimientos para poder usar el taller. Para, ob para obtenerlos invierte puntos de talentos deseados, utiliza ciertas piezas de equipo com o compañeros que te otorguen una bonificación. Cada punto de talento desbloqueará fórmulas nuevas, además necesitarás ingredientes que se pueden comprar o encontrar mientras exploras. Vale. Pues no sé qué mejora, eh. Ah, vale. Tavernkeeper, I see you're back. Can I pour you something this time? I need to be off. Goodbye. May the disease never afflict you, Your Excellency. I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. Hello, sir. Pero qué demonios, ¿dónde están? Some days when you'd rather get drunk all day than have to suffer through this again. Ah, okay. Llave del tabernero. Esta llave abre la puerta del servicio de la taberna de sirene. Tacos metálicos, dos tacos metálicos se usan para construir y reparar muebles de madera. Oh, vale. Locked. ¿Qué onda con esto? están los médicos ¿qué es eso? oh miren rifles ¿y por qué no agarra uno? Sir Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Not yet. You know this type of mission is not really my speciality. Oh, that's to your honor. But the commander did give the order to you. His Excellency might be able to help you. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required.
Oh, espere. Ahí había algo. The furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. Vamos a ver dónde está ese tío. Ya te puedo leer. Buenas noches. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Dr. Sahin, <laughs> I would. Why does well, I suffer? It is for an act. Are you not a But you could just. You don't understand. I fled. This potion is an attempt to create in those who. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? I don't have a choice. But it does not. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant. A small sip of this mixture provoked With the mob would have been furious in any case. But a normal dose, I assure you, is with... Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So... I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday, you'll see.
I can procure you some excellent potions, as long as you promise to put an end to this. True potions of healing like those you thought you were buying. What are you, some sort of alchemist, then? I hope you're not the same feather as the other. If that's the case, we have enough rope to hang the both of them! Trust me. I swear that each and every one of you will receive one. Ugh, our trust was already given. We're going nowhere without seeing a merchandise. Such a large number of potions. This story's gonna cost you a fortune. These vials could be lying around anyway. No, me jodas. No le puedo dar mis pociones. Yeah, those potions you promised us. Not quite yet. Leave me just. It's your last chance to prove that you're not just a fool. If not, we'll have no trouble. Do you have those potions you promised? Not quite. He's you've been to my help yeah. and death to the others. Oh, we fall in. You'll find all you need in our section. Whatever you need to be. Are your boots all through? Is your hat out of style? Does your best milk to my To my help. Joder, no sé en qué nos hemos metido. Todo por un maldito alquimista. Pues vaya que sí me metí en un lío, eh, y tanto para un desgraciado. Y aparte creo que se le recupera la vida. Ah, oh, maldito alquimista. Voy a ver si lo puedo matar y eso soluciona algo, no sé. No fue buena idea ayudar a ese alquimista.
So, did you find a way to get me out of this hall? Yes, I need to get you out. I've unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. You need to remain prudent. I will let... I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. Ah, me están siguiendo. No me jodas que no se abre. ¿Por qué no se abre? Vale, pues ya vieron cómo va esto, eh, voy a intentar hacerlo otra vez, obviamente de manera eficaz, nada más que el tiempo pues ya se nos ha terminado en este episodio, eh, voy a continuar uno cuando pues ya esté en la carreta prácticamente de este tío y pues ya más o menos vieron lo que voy a hacer, espero que les esté gustando esta campaña como a mí y pues bueno nos vemos en el próximo video, espero que me puedas apoyar con tu like y si no estás suscrito, lo puedes hacer, es totalmente gratis. Hasta la próxima.